Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian. I'm Jojo Baggins. And we're here for another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. No problem, buddy. <laughs> no, 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 you're no good. Problem. So, last episode we met Olivia for the first time. Um, fun. <laughs> she did not care at all for Alex's uh, letter of introduction. She just tore it up and, uh, yeah, she essentially dragged Ed and Al into the into the Briggs wall. Br uh, Kimberly and Scar hashed out. Didn't go well for Kimberly. Yeah, Scar but he is needed a pole at him. <laughs> yeah. um, but Kimberly escaped. He exploded the escape track. an inch of his life. Essentially, kind of. And then they stopped the train and he was just like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, bud? <laughs> I mean, you dare? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what he said, well, yeah. That's how he talked. <laughs> <laughs> God, that'd be the worst. He's bleeding out. Oh, what are you doing? And yeah, also, Ed fought Buccaneer. And his arm just started locking up, and he couldn't transmute Buccaneer's arm, because chances are it's not made out of iron. It's made out of iron. At the very least. Uh, well, that's twist. Marvel Cinematic Universe just crossovered with Full I mean, Metal. Um, that's it. Start next episode. <laughs> You finally got face to face with Sloth. What'd you think? Dude, your boy huge. <laughs> kind of. A little God. bit on the beefy side, my man. He's like an act. He's an act. Yeah. Beef. That's it. That's all. That's, that should have been his name, not he's a, Sloth. He's a cow? Yes. Um. Yeah, so first things he. Well, the bullets didn't affect him at all. Like regular bullets, they just bounced right off. Of course. And then the rocket launcher, you know, there was the fire. And then I just walked out of it. Yeah, he was like, oh, whatever. I hope she's tired, man. I don't care. <laughs> Gotta dig this hole. <laughs> Can I stop digging now? Yeah, and then he doesn't want to dig the hole. Let's shoot him with some tanks. And then he was just like, oh, man, this is really good. Mm, pain but, is a pain. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta dig this hole, my guy. Well, he doesn't want to, actually. He's like, can I just, can I stop, please? Yeah. Now that I'm here. But and yeah, I'm, is he, like... Came through the ground and just fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, he. Yeah, as soon as he comes out, at first he just towers over everybody. Everybody's scared. Ed's scared, and then it just. Asleep. <laughs> yeah. And then he starts just walking out. I was like, all right, I'm out, guys. Peace. I'm done digging. I'm here now. Let's. That's just. That's Vamoose. And um, yeah, that was uh. <laughs> sure. Also. Apart from before, well, after he came out, but before we felt, uh, we saw uh, Olivia find out that about uh, Sloth, we find out that Kimberly's at the base. And well, I thought they said that he was heading to the base. No, he's in. A, he was. He was headed here. Yeah. They, they said he was. He was headed here, uh, bleeding out. Now he's out. He's waiting at the hospital and one of the down in one of the bases or something like that. Yeah, but he's not there yet. Was that? No, let me double check. I'm pretty sure they said that he's waiting. He's at the hospital now in their base, or in one of the bases. At the base of the mountain. Oh, well. Okay. Well, that's. I think that's there, isn't it? No. Oh. at the base of the mountain. Well, he's nearby. Pretty sure he's close. Yeah, the base of the mountain. He's in the town that I know. Ed and them got off. The yeah. Plane. I know. I said he's close. After I, you know, I realized he's he's not at the base. I just. I thought he was, but I'm just saying he's nearby. Um, Stupid thing to think. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, now Al, Al Ed almost got frostbite. Yeah. Because of his armor, yeah, or not his armor, his mail, his auto mail. Um, finds out. Yeah, like we said before, he needs to get a different kind of auto mail. And there's the there. I guess like a phone call to Win your girl Winnie. Yeah, the doctor apparently was like, yeah, okay, so you got you should probably call her up, or else you know you might die. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm pretty sure he yeah he was like, okay, fine, whatever. He's definitely looking forward to that phone call. <laughs> I'm gonna need a full rework here, completely new yeah. armor. <laughs> or, I mean, she'd I probably know. be happy about that. True, with the especially money. like finding well that and finding out like just being able to experiment with new stuff because I'm pretty sure she's just been making this like the normal kind of automobile that she's. Delved into the because they apparently they created this kind of where they tinkered with things yeah. and figured out a good combination to sustain the the cold. So she gets to look at that, figure that out, and work with her new 
with all that stuff, so she's probably gonna be like freaking the crap out like she normally does. <sighs> oh, <laughs> dude, your eye is so freaking red. Dude, oh, I'm it, tired. Is that what it is? It's just one eye. No, no, dude. You're just getting like red eye or something. You got something in that eye of yours. Oh yeah, we found out that Miles is an Ishvan soldier. Oh. Uh, which I like the story with him and uh, and Olivia too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Space is like, all right, you know that's. You know, you're, you're here now. We need you. You know, stick with us. And he's like, well, if you can't hang with that, then fight me right now. I'll take you on one. I'll take you one on one. I'll destroy you. Yeah. Essentially. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's pretty much what she said. Okay, and she's like, no, it's her eyes. Yeah. And then they go back to her face. And speaking of which, like as soon as they uh, her, uh, not her, Ed and Alan, there's like, yeah, um, Alex is perfectly fine. He's good. She's like. Yeah, yeah, she does not like her brother. Apparently. Well, uh, I don't know about she doesn't like him, but she she's begrudging, I guess. Maybe. What does he do? I, maybe you just feel too buff. She might feel he's too soft. Oh, well, that's a given. But <laughs> she doesn't care for that, as, as it's obvious. Yeah. Only the strong survive. Remember that everything that happened was when you know the the monkey that showed up. He couldn't tell them, but what's his uh, buccaneer is like? Oh yeah, so you're talking to him. You must be in cahoots. You must be a drunk spy yeah, after all. I could hear by the way that you were talking to him, <laughs> and the way through that. Uh, well, that was after. Yeah, but still. Yeah, it's like, huh? Okay, maybe. <laughs> um, and then the whole thing with uh, he was trying to explain to. So why exactly can't they explain what? Because. Uh, they said to not say anything or else they'd kill Winry and the other you know, Tanaka. Oh, I thought that they just couldn't tell them about Bradley. That's why, yeah, he's like, who, like, why can't you tell us? Who told you not to tell us? Well, I understand, thing work I understand for? that, but I'm saying you can't, I don't see why they couldn't be like, oh, that's a monkey. Because they probably don't want them to know that they're working with the monkeys. <laughs> um, he's not, I guess he's not 100% sure what he can and can't, uh, Hand out. But how would they find out? Over there? He doesn't know who they can and can't trust because they have gloves. They have you know fingers, their fingers into everything. <clears throat> but um, he did what he could. I think she might. I mean, the way he he answered her for the most part, and then she when they got to those an, those questions, he's like, I can't answer that. Mm-hmm. And so I, she, the way she kind of looked at it, on. yeah, the way She's she looked at it, it kind of was like, huh. He answered me before, but with these questions, he says he just straight up said, I can't answer that. Mm. So there's some higher up than me. Something. All right. Yeah. And she's gonna draw, put two and two together, and well, then she's gonna beat him up, and then he's gonna be like, "Oh, it's Bradley." <laughs> I don't care about anyone else. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty Stop sure he cares about Winry and Panaco. No, no, it's enough. It's too much beating. Oh, okay. I don't think that's gonna be the case. He has the, the amount of gonna, the amount of beating he's taken. He's gonna be like, "Oh, I'm." Oh, so she's gonna pull out a wrench. Like, no! He just has his flashbacks. Any, anything, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, guys, that's it for this week's episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the rest of our stuff, go and click the bell right next to us. And if you want to stick around for next week's episode or the other stuff that we put up, go and click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever we put that stuff up, go and click the bell icon down below. Or you can just follow us on Twitter. Link to that in the description down below as well. And again, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. God.